questions for Jared Pranik. Jared, you know, when you were growing up in uh, North Dakota, were there, were there any wrestlers or, or any D1 athletes that you really kind of looked to emulate or uh, were big fans of from whether it's from North Dakota or other places? Yeah, I mean, as a kid, I always looked up to a long time before my time, but the, the Steiner brothers, obviously, that, that came and wrestled here. So they were great examples that um, – that I knew of and, and that I got to watch kind of um, grow up and and see guys like that that were only from a few hours away from me that excelled at every level they wrestled at um, through hard work. And um, I heard a lot of stories about them when they were younger and they didn't know much about wrestling and their first few matches they got beat up and kind of kind of crazy what hard work and, and dedication for them did. And another one is Scott Schiller. Um, Scott Schiller was – a really, really good example on and off the mat for me. Um, my dad grew up with his dad, so I got to know him pretty well. And, uh, yeah, he was just a class class act on and off the mat. And kind of a lot of the way I approach the sport is kind of how he did it. And, uh, yeah, so those are some really good role models for me growing up. You and Schiller are from the same high school? Yep. Did you guys cross paths on, uh, at all, or were you too young before? No, I was too young. I never got to be on the same same team with him. But like I said, with uh, my dad and his dad being friends, I got to, you know, hang out with him. I went to watch um, nationals one year when he was wrestling, so I got to experience it a little bit and kind of be, you could say, you know, friends with him. But um, it, it was more of just a a big time role model for me at the time. Did it kind of open your eyes that hey, they've done this, I can do it too, even though we're North Dakota. Has Fargo, but not necessarily a, a wrestling hotbed, I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That definitely, um, like you said, that's inspiration for for any kid. Let alone, you know, being from North Dakota, we don't have very many that uh, make it to the Division One level and uh, and have success. So, um, being, you know, people close to close to me and like and knowing them, knowing them as as people as well, not just you know, a, a wrestler that I see on TV, knowing them as a person and getting to hang out with them was was uh, definitely motivation to um, achieve the same goals that they did and and know that I could do it myself. You know, I know in the past you've said represent, representation is a big deal. Um, how does that maybe influence how you think of, you know, the kids that are looking up to you right now, you know, from North Dakota and kind of what you mean to, you know, those athletes that are coming up right yeah i mean it's it's a lot it's really important it's always been um super important for me um bigger than wins and losses is you know inspiring the next generation and and trying to you know live the right lifestyle and and be a, a good example on and off the mat like i said um there's a lot of kids a lot of kids that come to you know duels back at NDSU as well as here that you know you want they want signatures they want pictures and taking the time to do that stuff's really important because at one point we were all that that kid you know wanting to achieve those goals and um, who knows what impact you might have that might be just enough to get a kid into it and they might have a great career out of it. How important is this weekend from a personal standpoint and a team standpoint? With what you got coming up? Yeah, it's it's big. I mean, this duel goes. Obviously, the rivalry here goes back deeper, longer than I was even born. But, um, you know, we treat it the same way. It's it's a big duel. Um, you know, we're ready for the, the good competition, good matchup, top five team. Um, every one of us has a, has a good match, a big match. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Nothing really changes in the approach besides being ready and continuing to, you know, make those little improvements and get ready for March. You wrestled it. I never did there. Never did. Never okay. did. So, no. Do, do you talk to guys in here that kind of have before and what, what you're kind of what you think is back to prepare? Yeah. Um I I mean I actually just talked to coaches about this, but um I wrestled in at the Big Twelves, which were were in Tulsa and there was obviously a huge, huge fan base of Oklahoma State. So I got a little taste of um kind of how the fans are and how passionate they are. Um, but it's a little bit different when when you're Iowa and you got that target, especially with the, the history there. So I'm excited for it. Like I said, those big matchups are are a lot of fun. They're, that's what uh, 
we're here to do is to wrestle and put on a good show for a lot of people. Coach talked about uh, your personality and that uh, not that you're never satisfied, but you always know that there's work to do. Can you kind of talk about that striving to continually raise your game regardless of maybe what the outcomes were? Yeah, I mean, I'm always always looking to improve. There's it's a funny thing about this sport is there's you're just never ever gonna perfect any any piece of it. So, um, always looking to improve, and I think that kind of just goes back to the way I was raised and kind of my my experience growing up to wrestling is I was always you know climbing for the next guy, and I was never the best at any age group. So for me, um, that that's been a big motivation, and and coming here, I don't think. I think there's a lot left in, in my wrestling game to kind of piece together here before March. So um, I'm looking to keep improving on that and, and peak when it's time. What did you learn from yourself after the Penn State duel, considering you're going to that national championship and then you go against someone like Guy and it doesn't go your way? Just what did you kind of learn from that? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things to take away when you kind of look at it in detail. And um, it was about execution. You know, he was in on the legs a few times and I was in on a few times. He finished and I didn't. And that's kind of what it came down to. And then and getting away, you got to get away on bottom. So um, those are little things that I took away from that match that kind of really um, turned the tide of it. So uh, obviously, you know, we went back to the room. We're, we're fixing it. We're working on it and um, piecing together the recipe for March. How big of a Yeah, it was it was good. It was big. I mean, that's how we want to wrestle. That's how the guys on the team want to wrestle is, is score points and dominate. And um, it was good to get that flow back a little bit. Had a, had a couple matches where I wasn't scoring much, so get those points on the board. And um, yeah, look to keep building that momentum. Thanks, Jared. Thank you. Yep.